Hi and welcome to Who Getting Homeschool. My name is Maya and I am the homeschool mom of a third grader and a toddler. And today I'm going to be talking about um, Beast Academy's new science <laughs> curriculum that I am using among, among other things for my third graders. So I'm going to do a little flip through and then I'm going to talk about how we are using it in our homeschool. Hi, so now I'm here. Um, so this is the two books for third grade and together they do they make up a curriculum for the whole year of, of third grade. And as you can see here, they um, they say they follow like the, the standards um, that you're supposed to follow in third grade and they challenge, they discuss, you do research and you journal. So I really like um, how it's laid out. Let me show you what's in it. So I like that it kind of spirals around. So you have in each semester, like in you have um, a physics and more like a weather atmosphere. And then like, uh, I would call this biology. So, and then you, you start each half year with these if you follow their plan. And then in each unit, there are several chapters that you go through. Um, and I feel time-wise, this is um, very easy to go through and you can easily follow it. It has uh, the comic book layout as a math curriculum where you read a comic. And then it asks you some questions and you think, you kind of take it in that way. And then it also has like either some experiments or more like some think or what would happen if you did that and what would happen if you do, did that. Um, so I, I feel it's a very good all-round curriculum, very solid. And if you would like something to just use throughout third grade through the whole year and just follow it along, it's perfect for that. I do my own um, unit studies, so I use it a little differently. Um, so we have a month of different things. Um, and April, for instance, is like our physics month. So there I would go in here and see, look at these. We have about magnetism. And I know it's in here, so I'll, I'm going to be looking at that. And then later we have a unit about forces um, <clears throat> and waves and what happens there. So they're going to go gonna go in and look there. Um, March we have about trees and plants and life cycles in that aspect and I'll go in and and take what I can. I really like it because I know if I've gone through everything there is in these two for third grade and I've, I've followed all the standards so it's also like a good um, I don't know what to call like reminder for me what do I need? Is there anything that we have missed? I can go through it. And my daughter really, really likes it. So how we use it is we <laughs> use it every Thursday and she just goes in and pick uh, whatever she thought could be fun to do. So we've done a few of the, of the fun things. And we didn't start until um, this January. So we were uh, <laughs> a little late. So I don't know if if they're gonna make one for fourth grade that we're gonna start up after summer and then we'll say, okay, this was what we got from this. Or if we, if I decide, you know, to just continue with this one till we're done and, and then take the fourth grade for next January. We'll see where we end up. But it is a really, really good and solid um, curriculum that I really, really enjoy using. We haven't even gotten into the B book. 
<laughs> yeah, so now I'm just looking. And um, yeah, we've been very happy with it. So someone asked me how to do a flip through and here is a video and I hope you all can use it. I know a lot of people are planning curriculums right now and what they're going to use for next year. So I love these videos myself to be able to see it and hear how other have others have used the curriculums so yes i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i hope you all are great out there bye